Hello, my name is Emer Beamer and this is a series of slides to help you get ready for our meeting together on Friday morning. So, taking a step back, what's education for? It's to get children, according to Gert Biste, uh, to get children ready to be self-sustainable in their futures, to have a job, to imbibe values of society in the child, and thirdly, to facilitate the child's growth such that they can contribute to the future development of their society. Now, if we talk about the society, what's changing and what way would that influence our education? So just taking information, the amount of information online is equivalent currently to 4 billion books. So obviously nobody could read all that. And the question then is, how should that change education? The other thing that's changing massively in our lifetimes is the uh, accelerating development of technology. So we've already had information technology, smartphones and the internet, but we have other areas coming up such as robotics, nanotech, which means super small technologies, and genetics, such as reading our DNA. So can you imagine an extremely small robot uh, which could live in your body, uh, can read your DNA and send information via the internet. What way will that change life and in what way should all this change education? There's a number of it initiatives and schools who are looking at this question and uh, coming up with interesting answers. One of them is uh, the maker education and that's uh, partly what we're going to talk about now. So maker education is all about constructing knowledge. So making things and learning while making. Uh, luckily, this isn't only a new development. We have people such as John Dewey from the previous century who wrote a number of very influential books. And he had a classroom wherein children did real world projects and made things. We have Seymour Poppert, he's called the father of uh, children learning to compute um, and also constructionism. So everything to do with learning by making. And Reggio Emilia, a personal favourite, um, which talks all about expression and the child as an artist and them learning through their various language, especially at a young age. At Designathon, where we're from, we combine maker education with design thinking, so ontwerpend leren. Um, these are just a few examples of what the children have made, such as an electric bike for his friend with a handicap, so that's a prototype that they make uh, of their ideas. It's not a fully functional, um, but it's all about going through the thinking process and making their ideas. Here's another example. Uh, these two girls made a machine which would mould old plastic into bricks which you could build with. So you could use plastic but instead of leaving it uh, in the dump. A couple of principles uh, to finish off with, which you could use for your projects in school. Um, for a project to be successful, uh, it needs to engage the children. A creative question is a good starting point, a question that the children can relate to. Uh, they need some inspiration to trigger their curiosity. So don't just ask them to come up with an idea. Talk about it, discuss, feed them with examples. And number three is allow the child to make connections to other subjects that you're doing at the moment, be they five years and uh, learning to read and write. Um, eight years old, uh, maybe even connected to geography. Um, achieving the right amount of openness, so don't make it too easy and don't make it too difficult. That sounds kind of obvious, um, but this is often quite um, important, of course. And the number five, six, and seven, we have a limited amount of child size tools so if you're making stuff um, you can't just bring the hammer that you have at home because it's probably too big and too heavy so you need to get tools that children can use um, we need to take children seriously ask them questions about their plans 
um, and help them to figure out, navigate a route. And lastly, it's always wonderful to give children an opportunity to share both what they've made and the process. So uh, going back to John Dewey, he says the ref uh, learning is in the reflecting, not just the doing. So we need to make things and we need to give children a chance to reflect upon what they've learned and what they would still like to learn. So that's it for me. Looking forward to seeing you on Friday. Uh, we also have a video of this kind of work being done in a Dutch classroom. In Dutch, it's three minutes and the link is also in the email you received. Thank you very much.